Welcome to another episode of Remember the Great Sports Pickup Videos. This is kind of a mixed bag of pickup videos because I picked one of these items up in person and I bought the other two items on eBay. But I wanted to share this with you with the Super Bowl and I thought these would be some very appropriate Super Bowl pickups because all three of these individuals are Super Bowl legends. And all three of these individuals are Hall of Famers as well. So I'm going to show off what I picked up and I'll talk about each item individually and let's just jump right into this. I'm going to have to do some editing because I'm going to have to zoom out a little bit so just bear with me. Alright so this first item you can see is a actual framed Wheaties print of Hall of Famer Jerry Rice numbered to only 223 signed 136 out of 223 and I'll zoom in a little bit more so you can see that but you can see that there's a plaque here commemorating his touchdown scoring record of number 127 on September the 5th 1994 and up here in the top left is the signature itself Jerry Rice number 80 and the story behind this and I'm going to try to summarize this the best that I can was I was surfing Craigslist and I just typed in autographs and a post came up that was probably about 30 days old or so and this individual said I have this Jerry Rice item that I'd like to sell framed you know comes complete autograph whatever print for only $25 and this individual happened to live not too far from where I live just actually right down the road and I reached out to this individual through Craig, Craigslist email and she said that this was her late husband's piece and I asked her well do you have any other items you know I'm thinking let's make this a bigger deal and she said well I'd have to check because honestly it was down in his man cave since I just lost you know lost him not too long ago and it wasn't related to COVID at least I don't think so how she lost her husband I really haven't gone through his stuff yet but this is something that he had hanging on the wall and I just need to find somebody that really appreciates the piece for what it is and I told her you know through email I said listen I'm a huge Jerry Rice fan if you sell this to me for $25 it will definitely be going to a nice home so we mutually met up um, we met in a parking lot and I gave her the $25 and off I left uh, she did give me her phone number and I have yet to follow up on her but I'm probably going to do this just to kind of say, hey, did you get a chance to go through your husband's other items yet? And just kind of see what she has. But I only spent $25 on this awesomely framed piece of Jerry Rice. And I'm so proud to have this in my collection. I just wish I had a place to uh, hang it on the wall, to be honest with you. So that's item number one. Now the next item, I picked this up, um, actually, believe it or not, after... This individual passed away this year and this is I'm not gonna fold the entire thing out oh yeah I will what the heck and this is actually you can see the size of this a signed poster of Herb Adderley and this is Hall of Famer Herb Adderley who passed away this past year and this is celebrating an event I'm just going to fold it so I can show it to you a little bit better. An event at Hershey Park Stadium in 1997. Uh, he was the Big 33 honorary chairman at this event. And this would have been the game Pennsylvania versus Ohio. And apparently this is a tradition. This is the 40th anniversary of the Big 33. So up here in the corner, it's actually signed. By Herb Adderley, Hall of Fame 1980. Now on the picture that they show, this is basically just a uh, a scan of an 8x10 of Herb, and it's inscribed and signed, but this isn't real. This is just like basically a photocopy to be put on a poster, but the real signature is up here in the corner. And this... Um, seller on eBay said it comes folded up because that's how I got it you know I had absolutely no problem with that but I thought 
if I could find a you know oversized top loader, you know a poster sized top loader, or maybe even a nice frame, this would look excellent framed up in that condition. Now, what I tell you, I paid for this. I paid less than ten dollars for this ship to my door, and this is after Herb had passed away. Many of you know Herb um, signed autographs quite a bit um, through the mail, but he did have a fee involved with that. And I don't think you could have got a Herb Adderley autograph for less than $10. And I pulled off this shipped for $10. So very happy to add that to the collection. Now the final piece that I bought is something that uh, I occasionally go on eBay. And I've mentioned this in my Artist Gilmore jersey pickup video. And I'll post that at the end or up here in the corner if you want to check that out. And I occasionally just type in sign jersey with Leaf Authentics. And the Leaf Authentics is the uh, certificate of authenticity that comes with it. And I put it in there upside down, but the certificate matches the hologram on the piece. And this is one of those Leaf Authentic random boxes or whatever that you can buy. And you would get a signed jersey, a signed photo, a signed ball, helmet, whatever. And this was a Rayfield Wright jersey. Now Rayfield Wright, I'm not going to pull this out. And I'm going to show you the signature. But I want to show you the full name. This is a Dallas Cowboys jersey. And Rayfield Wright was a lineman for the Dallas Cowboys back in the 70s during their championship years. He's a NFL Hall of Famer. And... I found this jersey and I wanted to buy it for two reasons. Number one, it was cheap. I actually got this jersey for $35 shipped to my door. And it's not the prettiest Cowboys jersey. There's nothing on there indicating that it's the Cowboys. It's basically just a blue jersey, which is a replica of what the jerseys were when Wright played. But there's no, you know, Lone Star, there's no Dallas Cowboys logo or anything. So I'll show it to you. You know, uh, here's some still images of it. But, you know, that was one reason I wanted to get it was because it was cheap. But the second reason was is I actually wore this number in high school. I actually wore number 70 when I played football as a lineman. So I've always had my eye open for a number 70 jersey. This, of course, isn't my jersey. But I'm like, wow, if I can get a Hall of Famer jersey for just $35 shipped, I'm going to buy it. So I, I uh, made the offer to the seller. I want to say he was asking 25. I offered him like 22, but he wanted you know like 15, almost 15 dollars shipping or 12 dollars shipping, which I can understand because it came, you know, in an oversized box basically, and with shipping charges what they are, that doesn't surprise me. So I offered him. I said, hey, I'd like to spend no more than 35 dollars, whether that's how much you make in shipping or how much you bring home, and he accepted my offer. So for just $35, I got this awesome Rayfield Wright jersey. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I wanted to share with you these items because of the Super Bowl. You know, the Rayfield Wright jersey, the Jerry Rice autograph on the print, and of course the Herb Adderley autograph, which I'm not going to unfold, but I'll show you the autograph. Tell me what you guys think of this awesome pickup. Thanks for joining me for another episode, and as always, happy collecting.